Ah, what is up, internet? Today we are in the bunker. Let's go. All right. Hey, if you're looking to improve in the game of golf and hit better shots, be more consistent, and be the best player you can be, then hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything. All the gear, products, things like that that I recommend and use, uh, there are links in the description below for all of that. There are special deals and discounts there as well, so be sure to check that out always. All right, exciting day. Uh, we're in the bunker, and it's gonna be cool because we're gonna do some things in there that get a lot of us in so much trouble, and it really infects the rest of your golf swing. So we're gonna fix that up uh, right now. Okay, so in the trap, I believe there are some real common, let's say, misconceptions that a lot of us are doing when we get in here. And it all has to do, a lot of it, with our hands. I think we're using our hands, well, I know we're using our hands incorrectly in most, most golf shots. And this is, when you're in the sand, this is where it really comes out big time. Okay. Because what people are trying to do is open up that club face when you're in the sand. And what that causes is this. You start, you open it, and then you think you need to continue opening the club throughout the swing. So then you get like this, and it's super wide open. What happens there is your hands will come away from your body, and that club will whip way inside. And you'll do something like, like that, and hit it really fat, and a lot of times it won't even come out of the bunker or you know you'll open that face you'll do that and then you catch it thin and then forget it who knows where it goes so what i want to talk about today and what we're going to work on is how to keep the hands from moving too much in the sand because this is where it really comes out you watch jason day he doesn't he is very solid in here okay we're going to do a little wrist hinge. So, so my wrist hinge video, I'll put a link to it right here. Check that out because that's going to show you how we're going to use our wrists. And the same principle applies here in the sand. But basically, your wrist hinge is just that that's it. Okay? That's what we're going to use for wrist hinge in the bunker. Now, you that's it. You're not rotating the hands and wrist hinging. We don't want all this cupping going on, all this nonsense. You just wanna um, slightly hinge those wrists in the swing right here. So no forearm face rotation here, okay? That's gonna get you in too much trouble. We wanna eliminate the hands, even in the bunker. And when you do that and you have proper fundamentals, then you can just hinge, and hit a pretty good shot more consistently more often. And I'll show you how to do that. So in the trap, this is what you need to do. I want a really wide stance. I see so many people in the trap just like this, and I say wide, and they just go like this. That's not wide. We really gotta stretch that out like this. Like you're almost doing the splits. Like you're really gonna, like let's say you're in football practice or something back in the day, and this is where you're gonna start doing these guys and bending over and doing all your, your hip flexes and stuff like that. That's your stance in the bunker, right down here. You're a linebacker, you're a shortstop, you're ready for the play, okay? This is your bunker stance, right in here, okay? And then I'm just gonna sink into that front knee, right in here, okay? That's, wider's better. I mean, this is better in the bunker than too narrow. Now, the opposite is true with the driver, but in the bunker, wider is better. So get wide, okay? Get in here and sink down in that left side. Ball position, I like it slightly above, uh, in front of center. Just slightly in front of center, okay? Now, this is where we get messed up. A lot of people take their grip 
and then open the face and then rotate the hands. None of that needs to happen. You just open the face and you barely have to open the face. I'm using a 60 degree wedge here. Just, I mean, barely like one knob, one notch on the dial, right? You don't have to if you don't want to, but it just adds a little bit more bounce for protection. So that's why I'm just gonna open the face a little bit. Just get that bounce a little lower now, okay? On the club. So now I'm into that left side, now I'm here. Now from here, I'm just taking it here and a slight wrist hinge here. That's it. And then I'm already into that left side. And I'm just kind of going a little to the left. Now, I, I like to set it fairly square to my target and just open that face a little bit and then sink into that left side. And now I don't need to rotate my hands at all. That will get you in too much trouble. Go in, that's a good one. So that's it, it's super simple. You don't need a huge turn and anything. You don't need to turn those shoulders. I don't even turn my shoulders too much. It's just all arms here. And I just let the weight of the club bring it down. No, again, I can't state it enough. You do not do any of this action with your hands. It's pretty solid, okay? Right here. Hands forward would be a big mistake. Back is better than forward, but I like right in the center, maybe a touch forward, but not up here. That will hurt you. And that's it. You just want to stay into that shot like that, and you're going to have great, great success when you have these bunker shots. There's one more thing I want you to work on when you're practicing. So your setup fundamentals in the bunker are going to be paramount in your success here. So make sure that comes before everything else. Like wide setup, everything centered, weight into that left side, nice and wide, okay? And then from this angle here, how I was swinging, I'm, I might be aimed slightly left, and then my when I open the face, it aims at the target, and then no hands, and I'm slightly coming outside here, let that wrist hinge a little bit and come through like that. So from this angle, it looks sort of like that. And then you can have good success. Always practice on a short flag, the short one. Don't go to the long ones when you're practicing because that's just not gonna serve, serve you very well. The shorter one's gonna be uh, more difficult and you're gonna see those a lot more often when you're playing on the golf course. So always, in my opinion, practice the shorter bunker shots. Now, when you do this, this little thing I'm gonna give you for practicing, even when you're on the course, try it out and let me know, comment below, tell me if this little tip is gonna help you out and if it's working for you. Here's what you wanna do. So many people hit way back here, way behind the ball. What I wanna do is get, I really wanna get as close to the ball as I can without hitting it. That would be the goal. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say my name as I go through the ball, as I make contact with the sand, okay? I'm just gonna say Matt. Because what I wanna find out is where does my brain think I'm making contact with the ball versus where I'm actually making contact with the ball. In this case, the sand. So setup is good. So I'm gonna take my swing. Now if I'm saying Matt and I'm way back here, there's a problem going on. And you, a lot of you may find that out pretty easily or you might go, Joe, and say your name way over here. Again, there's issues, and you've got to sync up your brain with your body. And that's what saying your name in this um, situation will help do. But make sure your setup is perfect, hands are good, open that face, fix your grip, get your, then put your grip on. Just out here, no hands, I'm gonna say my name. Matt. I felt like I was a little late on my name, so, I'm saying my name too, too late. So I wanna time that up a little better. Here I go. Matt, that was good. Might've been a touch early. And you're actually tricking yourself. Now I'm not thinking about chunking it or anything else. I'm actually hitting good shots. I'm tricking my brain into not thinking about so much technique, just and, and these are little triggers that you can do to help your game improve quickly. Even when you're on the golf course, you might try it out, just get in here, okay, got the setup, so I don't have to think about that anymore. Matt, and then you're good to go. Not too horrible. So try those things out. 
The setup is, get, you know, you have to master that. That's gonna be the number one thing for you. And then just really getting in there and eliminating those hands. Oh my goodness. You're gonna see a world of difference in your bunker play when you start reducing the amount of manipulation you're doing with your hands. Sure, your hands are your only connection to the club and you wanna feel it, but you don't wanna abuse it. There's a big difference there. Okay, and then use that last little thing. Just say your name out right as you make in contact with the sand, like whew, Matt, Frank, Sally, Joe, Jim, Bubba, whatever your name is. Say it as you go through. You're gonna see things start dramatically changing and your confidence level whew, go through that roof. I'm excited for you. Thanks for watching. Comment below, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Huh. Love you guys. See you in the next video.